Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox here. In this video, we're gonna talk around all the recent mining news from this week covering the RTX 3060, the 6700 XT launch coming up, EIP 3368, and some news on uh, the mining specific cards from NVIDIA. As well, uh, I'm gonna tell you all around this week's Free Hash Friday giveaway. All right, let's start with the giveaway. So last week I discovered that YouTube really does not like Ethereum addresses being posted in the comments section. So I apologize to everybody that was getting their comments deleted automatically by YouTube, totally out of my control. It, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything. I had all my filters set to not delete any comments or anything. It was super disappointing. So what we're gonna do this week, we're gonna do it in my Discord server. Link is in the description below. I got a giveaway, we'll run in there and we'll do free hash Friday that way. And maybe next week try something else, but come join the Discord, bunch of really cool uh, miners in there, asking great questions, sharing some knowledge, and we'll do our giveaway in there for this week's free hash Friday. All right, guys, with that, with that, let's get uh, into some news from this week. Quite a lot has been happening. And the first thing that's pretty much the biggest news this week was the RTX 3060 being fully unleashed for Ethereum mining. So I'm sure you guys have seen this by now, but just in case you haven't, what happened is somebody, some great soul, discovered that NVIDIA released a development driver for uh, the RTX 3060 that removed the Ethereum uh, crypto limiter and allowed full Ethereum mining on the GPU. They also discovered certain requirements that must that must be met. Uh, one of those is that it needs to be in a full slot PCIe into the motherboard, and two, it needs to be plugged into a display or some type of video out. And if you do those two things, you can hit about 50 mega hash on uh, the RTX 3060. NVIDIA has since removed that driver. Don't worry, it's floating around the internet because once something's on the internet, it will be there forever. And NVIDIA put out a statement here. You can see that a developer driver inadvertently included code used for internal development, which removes the hash rate limiter on the RTX 3060 in some configurations. The driver has been removed. Thank you, person at NVIDIA. All right, so that's that. Next, to give you some hope on this, even if that didn't happen and what this could potentially mean for future nerfed NVIDIA GPUs, over on the Phoenix Miner uh, GitHub here, and they got asked a question, but uh, one of the responses to the questions from about six days ago was that they're working on a big update to NVIDIA kernels for the future releases. Not the next release of Phoenix Miner, because that's locked in right now, but the one after. So don't get your hopes up too high, but there are some encouraging signs that the 3060 hash rate lock could be partially lifted, but nowhere near 100%, unfortunately. So. Still, really good news, even if NVIDIA didn't mess up and release uh, this driver, development driver, we have de uh, mining developers out there, you know, doing their best, uh, getting more performance out of these cards. So there's still hope for not only RTX 3080 Ti, I think is the next rumored one, but the 40 series and, and anything that NVIDIA wants to do beyond where they, they keep locking these cards. So with that, let's shift over to the crypto mining processor, the CMP cards. I think these are what? Yeah, the HX GPUs that are made and built for mining specifically. So this is the first photo that's been found of a gigabyte version. And it's pretty much what you'd expect. It looks like a lot of the mining cards of the past. It has no video out because it really just don't need one. Pretty simple design and pretty slim design. So nothing really special there. Looks a lot like the uh, cards that we've seen before. But what has happened, I think this is, yeah, this is today, is that in Dubai, at a retailer in Dubai called Microless, the first NVIDIA CMP 30HX model went on sale. And it went on sale for $723.84. Whoa, right? So, okay, let's, let's go and see. I, what did it say? It said... If you take out the value added tax, the VAT, it should cost around $689.37 USD. That is a frightening price. Frightening. 
let's learn more about this GPU. GPU uses the Turing silicon architecture. It is rated for 125 watts, and it has out of the box performance of 26 mega hash per second. What is this GPU? This GPU is a 1660 Super that you're gonna pay $689.37 for. I really hope there's more to the story here because what are we, what are we doing, NVIDIA? I paid $230 for my 1660 Supers, and like I said, 75 watts. Once you get them power limited, 31, 32 mega hash. Once you get them overclocked, $230. Why would anybody buy this card? This, this, I don't understand. I don't understand. Guys, help me out. Leave a comment down below. Help me out here because I'm just, I'm totally stuck trying to figure out why anybody would buy this. And I know that GPU prices are, are crazy inflated right now for tariffs and supply and demand and, and all the other reasons. But even at that, even right now, considering the prices, why would anybody pay almost $700 for that GPU? I don't get it. Help me. Please help me. All right, moving on. Uh, 6700 XT, I think it comes out tomorrow as of making this video. So there's been some Ethereum hash rates uh, released around that already. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not looking good, just like the whole rest of AMD's latest series here. And uh, Dizzy Mining, if you don't follow him on YouTube, he posts every new GPU pretty much the fastest with hash rates. Uh, he's like the first every time. So he's got a 6700, 6700 XT here mining and he's got the overclocks and all that and you can see it's uh doing about 67 66 mega hash per second at 120 watts and i don't know if that wattage is 100 percent accurate because typically amd pulls like 20 30 watts more at the wall um even at the 120 it's still just it's not looking good for this card it's, it's not a great mining card so Moving on from there, the price of this GPU. So ASUS listed uh, some of their models on their web store today, and this is their standard edition, their dual. And this is $730 for that GPU. Not a good buy, not a good buy for mining. I don't think a good buy for gaming. Uh, I don't know, I got nothing on this one. I'm gonna stay away from that one. All right, what else we got going on? So in the Ethereum space, um, EIP-1559 has been accepted. The call to arms for switching over to Ethermine to show a, a force of, of power has been called off. Um, I'm still on Ethermine because I love it. But with that, uh, Michael Carter, AKA BBT, AKA Bitsby Trippin, um, has posted an article on Medium here talking around really the history of the Ethereum network, where GPU hash rate lands right now uh, on cryptocurrencies that are, are proof of work. Um, the hash rate of the Ethereum network, where it's coming from, nice hash, pools, whatever. Uh, he goes through all of that here and then introduces EIP uh, 3368, which was created by him down on the bottom here. This is a fantastic read, especially if you're new to money. It gives you a lot of history and a lot of detail, and it's just very well written. I highly recommend. I'll have a link to this and all the other articles down in the description below, so check it out. So let's talk about EIP 3368 and what that looks to do. So recap, EIP 1559, what that's going to do is it's going to take the fee that is typically goes to miners and it's going to burn it. So the miner will no longer get that fee. And that fee has been pretty high right now because the amount of transactions taking place on the Ethereum network because of DeFi and NFTs and, and other things. So let's read the summary of EIP 3368. Changes the block reward paid to proof of work miners to three Ethereum from the existing two Ethereum and starts a decay schedule for the next two years to one Ethereum block reward. So when EIP 1559 goes live, what's going to happen is all the miners are going to get, for, for argument's sake in this discussion, all the miners are going to get is two Ethereum block reward. 
And a lot of what has made Ethereum so profitable in mine right now is the fee, and the fee is going to go away. So what uh, BBT is proposing here is to bump up to three Ethereum to keep the incentive for miners to continue to mine Ethereum and participate on the Ethereum network. Now, the big fear here is not profitability. Like that's, I mean, it's part of it, the incentive. But the big fear here is the sec overall security of the Ethereum network. And where the Ethereum developers have landed is that the price will go up, and continue to rise, and that will offset any profit that might be lost in U USD value to miners uh, losing the fees. So they're really betting on an increase in Ethereum price to offset the loss of fees. So miners really won't notice a change in the USD value that they're pulling in. What BBT's argument is, and it's a fantastic argument, is, well, what if that doesn't happen? That's a big what if. The markets work in cycles. We know this. What if the price drops? What if we sit at $1,000, $700, $500 Ethereum, and all miners are getting is the two Ethereum reward and not the fee anymore, and so your incentive to mine on the Ethereum chain is less, and Potentially, there's Ravencoin or Conflux or some other cryptocurrency that is more profitable to mine. And so miners start to leave the Ethereum network. And maybe this happens very quickly because of the one-two punch of 1559 and a price drop. And so then all of a sudden, your net hash on the Ethereum network just drops off a cliff. And you're in this position, a dangerous position where a bad actor can come in and take advantage and do some damage to the Ethereum network. And so what BBT is proposing here is this EIP to have it locked and loaded. If that situation arrives, it can be immediately put in place on the network to incentivize miners to stick around the network because it will be more profitable than any competing networks that are out there. The other part of this is the decay going down to one Ethereum block reward. I think this is really smart too because proof of stake is Ethereum's end goal. That's no secret. Um, and if, if you don't know that, you should know that as a miner. At some point, you will not be able to mine Ethereum. That's been known and that's, that's okay. And what the reduction, the decay down to one Ethereum does is it's a nice way to start slowly taking miners off the Ethereum network as we lead up to proof of stake, which is pro probably two years away, it could be sooner, it could be later. Those are the, some of the estimates that I've seen. And so what happens is, you know, the miners that maybe leave first as a block reward lowers and price lowers are the miners with, you know, old GPUs, inefficient hardware. And then maybe you lose the miners that live in areas with um, higher electric rates, you know, and then you, start losing miners that way and it's it's not fast you know it's slow it's progressive and it moves us closer to easing into proof of stake so i think this is a brilliant eip uh, i really hope that this happens it makes a ton of sense it's a fantastic way to look out for the miners and the security of the network as well as achieve the end goal of proof of stake um, and yeah, I'm just, it's great. So you guys check it out. You can read through all of it here. And then you can also check out the discussion that's happening, uh, over on this site here. And I mean, I'll, I'll tell you so many people here just disagree and you can see BBT is just putting in the work, man. This guy's putting so much energy into this. I'm so thankful for him. This whole community is so thankful for him. Uh, he needs a well-earned uh, vacation after the amount of energy he has put into really getting the knowledge out there on EIP-1559, trying to get anybody on the Ethereum development team to make some decisions to think about this differently. So, man, kudos to him. If you are not following his channel, it is linked in my description below, and it will be forever. Um, follow him on Twitter, everything puts out amazing content. It's been around the space longer than me and probably every single one of you watching this. So 
go check him out, support him, um, and thank him for everything he's doing for all of us uh, and Ethereum, right? Because that's the other thing. Like, we are all believers in Ethereum. We're all bag holders of Ethereum. This isn't just about mining. We want this project to be secure and succeed, you know, for many decades and decades and decades to come. All right. I think that's what I got for you this week. I would love to know your thoughts on any of the stuff that I covered. Leave it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to join my Discord. The link the invite is in the description below. Uh, that's where we'll be doing this week's Free Hash Friday giveaway. And yeah, guys, that's it. I hope you have a great uh, weekend coming up. And please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.